Welcome to Hands-On Equations Lesson 2. I hope that you found in Lesson 1 that algebra really can be fun and doable for you. So let's get started. In this lesson, the main point of this one is to see that the pawn, this blue shape, has a special name x, and we can write equations using this particular variable. For example, this equation we can place on the mat by reading it, remembering that the x represents the pawn. This expression right here is two x's, two pawns. So we're going to place on two pawns to represent two x's. Then we're going to add another one on the same side, still on this, the left side of the equal side. Then now we've moved over to the right side of the equal sign. We're going to add a pawn for this x and an eight number cube. So two x's plus another x. On the other side, we have an x and an eight. Then we're going to use guess and check. I would immediately see that ones are too small because that would be three over here and this side is way bigger. Twos would be two, four, six. That's too small over here. Let's try three. Three, six, nine. Three plus eight is not going to equal nine. Let's try four. Four, eight, twelve. Four plus eight equals twelve. Ah, so x in this equation must equal four. Let's try two more examples. This is just like what you will see on your hands-on equation lesson two sheet. So I'm going to put on three x's and a one number cube. On the other side of the equal sign, I'm going to put on one x and the number cube seven. So I see, I'm starting to see right away that ones are too small because that would make this whole side four and that's too big. Now let's try two. Two, four, six, seven. Well, that's going to be too big over here. Let's try three. Three, six, nine, plus one more is ten. Three plus seven is ten. Ah, so x must equal three. And then we check it by saying how much each side equals. Three, six, nine, plus one more is ten. Three plus seven is ten. And I show it with a check and the equal sign in the middle. Let's do one more problem. This says to put four x's on the left hand side. One, two, three, four. Then I move over to the other side of the equal sign. I have three x's. One, two, three. And then a five number cube. All right, now I'm ready to check. Um, I would immediately see that ones are too small again because that's going to be four over here and eight. Let's try two. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, that's too many. Let's try three. Three, six, nine, twelve over here on this side. Three, six, nine plus five is fourteen. It doesn't work. Let's try four. Four, 8, 12, 16, 4, 8, 12, plus 5 is going to be 17. Let's try 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, it works. So the pawn or the x equals 5, and then I'm going to go back and see how much each side is worth. 5, 10, 15, 20 on this side, 5, 10, 15, 20 on that side. So 20 equals 20 with a check. You are now ready to start with lesson two of your hands-on equations packet. The first four problems that you see here are going to be the new kind, how they're written using the X instead of the picture of the pawn. And then down at the bottom, you will see each day, you'll see some review that uses what we already know and continues to practice it. Good luck.